1948, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which underscores fundamental rights and freedom for all. Today, the Nigerian Bar Association, alongside the rest of the world, marked the 2019 Human Rights Day with this summit, with a theme, Youth Standing for Human Rights, the case of Nigeria. The submission by experts here is that human rights in Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria, has been grossly abused. To our young lawyers, to develop interest in human rights, and I do not mean just going to Nigerian courts alone. Nigerian lawyers must be prepared to appear before the ECOWAS court, the African Court on Human and People's Rights, and the Minister fishing for evidence in order to now prosecute. And in the process, they violate your right, they beat you up, they put pins sometime in your, on your penis, and many things have been done in order for them to get evidence in order to prosecute an accused person. That is wrong. So, so many other areas. While human rights activists continue to berate Nigeria's law enforcement agency for exposing citizens to human rights violations, the Nigerian police force says it is working assiduously to put an end to that. Leadership, because of the new police leadership, we have been enjoyed at all levels to respect human rights. And it's because of that, the new AIG approved a capacity building on human rights protection at all police levels. Former human rights activist Chidi Odinkalu condemns the proposed social media bill. We are having a conversation as to whether or not this should be law. It's quite clear that this is sponsored by the government, Garbashe, who has come out to own it. Um, and we've got to ask ourselves, what kind of country is it that wants to outlaw the means of expression of its young people? But at the heart of this is an authoritarian streak that wants to control everything. And the desire for control has been there since 1537 when Johannes Gutenberg invented movable sites. It is hoped that with this summit, government will begin to tighten loose ends, especially towards ensuring that the ordinary Nigerian enjoys the right to education, right to free speech, and right to life, among others. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.